Hello, it's Susan here for Komori no Hime Cosplay, and today we're going to be making the dress for the Sylveon Gajinka Cosplay. For Sylveon's dress, we're going to be using cut sew number 13, their fairy ami pattern, and we're going to start by cutting the base dress pieces out of some white fabric, and the dress hem pieces out of some pink fabric, and we're going to zigzag along the edges to keep them from fraying. Then we're going to take the hem pieces and sew them onto their matching dress pieces. Then sew all of the dress pieces together along the side seams and insert a zipper into the side. Now when you're sewing your zipper, please don't do what I did and accidentally got a zipper that's too big so I'm going to have to trim this down. Make sure that you read the packaging and get the appropriately sized zipper. Next we're going to hem the bottom of the dress. The pattern directions called for using a rolled hem, however this dress is really short. So I decided to just do a regular hem and add some lace along the bottom. Sew the dress lining pieces together just like we did for the top portion of the dress, except instead of adding a zipper into the side, we're going to sew it together a little bit along the bottom, then hem the rest of the opening. To make the ruffle at the bottom of the dress, we're going to fold our tool pieces in half, then we're going to sew a gathering stitch along the top. Putting right sides together, gather the tool and sew it along the bottom of the dress lining. Cut two of the dress straps out of white fabric and apply some fusible interfacing to the backs. Then we're going to fold them in half and sew them together along the side to create a tube. Turn the straps right side out, press them flat and sew them onto the dress. Turn the dress right side out and top stitch along the edge. And with that, Sylveon's dress is done. For more tutorials on how to make the rest of the costume, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.